Hey guys, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the law of attraction and don't worry, I'm not going to try and convince you to use the law of attraction or talk to you about why law of attraction is so great and how it works. Um, I want to talk to you if you don't quite believe in the law of attraction or you think that it's nonsense and you know, oh yeah, sure, just imagine what you want in your mind and you're going to create it. Uh, you know, first of all, again, I'm not going to try and convince you that you should use the law of attraction, but I just want to talk to you if you are not convinced or you don't believe in it. And you know, law of attraction aside, I just want to talk to you about our thoughts. So the law of attraction says that whatever you think, whatever you hold in your mind, whatever you believe, that's what you're going to attract. So for example, you want a successful business, you think about it, you know, you visualize it and then it's going to happen. Yes, sure. And I've attracted a lot of things in my life, uh, that very successfully, very big things as well. But the thing is, a lot of people miss out the action part when they think about the law of attraction. And that's why when people are not really familiar with the law of attraction or they have heard of the concept a few times, immediately they just disregard it and they say, no, 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 that's nonsense. You think something and then it's going to manifest. Yes, but no, because you still have to take action. And that's a huge part of it. You know, you have to see what you want in your mind, but you still have to go out there and actually do something about it. Um, law of attraction aside, just looking at the scientific aspects of it, whenever you hold an image of something in your mind that you want or that you desire or that you want to create, you are going to go out into the world and you are going to pick up on the clues that, you know, might potentially fulfill that desire because your mind is trying to fill in the blanks. So actually just from a scientific perspective, visualizing what you want, and seeing it in your mind is a very, very uh, incredible practice because it actually helps you achieve the things that you want because you start seeing opportunities where otherwise you would not perhaps been able to see because again, your brain is trying to fill in the gaps and make the thing that you see in your mind happen. So as I said, whether you believe in the law of attraction or not, there are so many incredible articles backed up by science that talk about the incredible power of visualization. And even just thinking about people like Michael Phelps, you know, who's an incredible swimmer, he used to visualize every single day his perfect race because his coach made him rehearse the perfect race in his mind. So he would see it because your mind can't, your brain can't distinguish between what you're imagining or what is actually happening. So in your mind, when you are running through the race beginning to end as detailed as possibly, your brain actually thinks that that's what you're doing. So you're sort of getting a practice in, you know, you're practicing without actually practicing because you're just visualizing it in your mind. So yes, Michael Phelps still put a lot of work into, you know, swimming and training and nutrition and all these things. The action component is huge, but I don't think it's an accident that his coach would make him visualize every single night, every single night, his perfect race. And he is one of the best swimmers out there. So, um, as I said, just from a scientific perspective, visualizing and seeing in your mind, what it is that you want is actually going to help you go out into, go out into the world and pick up on the clues, um, to fulfill that desire. But also it's going to give you a clearer Im image and, um, it's just going to overall give you clarity of the very thing that you want. Cause you know, if you say, Oh yeah, um, I want a partner, uh, anybody could be your partner. You can go, you can go into the street, see the first person and be like, Hey, do you want to date me? Do you want to be my partner? But when you are very clear in your mind of what kind of partner do you want values, what they're like, how they treat you, um, you know, how you make them feel, how they make you feel. It's very, very powerful because you start, you know, you start discovering what it is that you want and you start being clear on it. So then when you go out into the world and perhaps you meet somebody um, and you, you see some red flags, you think, okay, um, that's actually not the type of person that I would want to be with. But if you didn't form the men mental image of what kind of person you want to be with, you perhaps would have not picked up on those red flags. So just all in all, visualizing and having a clear image of what it is that you want is incredibly powerful, whether you believe in the law of attraction or you don't. Think good thoughts. That's another component of the law of attraction. Thinking good thoughts, thinking about what it is that you want, because you know, it says you attract whatever you think about, but if you don't believe in the law of attraction or you don't even use it, 
I honestly do not see a downside to thinking better thoughts. And what I often realize with people, uh, you know, and even just like friends or acquaintances or clients is that people are not resistant to the law of attraction. People are resistant to just feeling better. And people are very resistant to thinking better thoughts. Why? Because it's very habitual. If you've been thinking negative things about yourself, about the world, about, you know, other people, um, that's your habit. It's a habit, your thought pattern. And what you think about is a habit. You might think that you have these new thoughts every single day, but actually spoiler alert, you don't, you just keep recycling through the same things that you think about. So if you've been thinking very negatively, and if you only pick up on, you know, the bad things in life and you always find things to complain about you are not resistant to the fact that it's the law of attraction think about something that you want and you're gonna get it you're most likely resistant to simply thinking better thoughts because it's very unfamiliar for you and when you think better thoughts about yourself um, you're gonna feel more empowered you're gonna feel more confident you're gonna feel overall so much better but also when you expect good things and when you think about good results and good outcomes, it lifts your spirits up, but also, you know, call it law of attraction, don't call it law of attraction. Most of the time it actually gives you better results and gives you happier, more positive outcomes. Because if you are very pessimistic and very negative and then you go out into the world and you go to your work and you know, something, somebody's being rude to you and then you go into a meeting and the meeting doesn't go the way you want to, you wanted it to go. Um, it's not always that the problem is on the outside. And again, I don't want to call it a problem. It's not often that the negativity and the badness is on the outside. It might be that you are just projecting and you need to look inward. So again, law of attraction is think good thoughts, good things happen to you. But if you don't want to use the law of attraction, thinking better thoughts is going to improve your life either way. You might be even resistant to me saying that to you because you're going to be like, oh my God, who is she to tell me to think better thoughts? Like the world is so bad. She hasn't even lived as long as I have. You know, I am twice her age. So why would she even tell me to, I get it. But again, that's your considerations and that's your habitual repetitive pattern of just finding things to latch on that are negative and bad and finding things to complain about. So whether law of attraction or not, thinking better thoughts is going to help you. It's going to be better for your health. It's going to be better for your mental state, but also it's going to be better for the world. Because when you go into that meeting, you're going to be positive and you're going to see the good, you know, and you're going to have better communication with other people compared to you walking into an office and being miserable and being complaining because um, then you're not making other people feel that great either. I feel like those are very big or I guess main components of the law of attraction. It's, you know, thinking good thoughts and thinking about what it is that you want, but also visualizing and seeing in your mind what it is that you want. And as I said, yes, I've used the law of attraction for so many years and I've attracted so, so many incredible things, but if you don't believe in the law of attraction, I don't want you to, I don't want to convince you to believe in the law of attraction. I just want you to see that, you know, whether it's something that we agree with or it's something that we disagree with, there are certain components that we take, we can take out of each scenario and learn something from it. So if you don't believe in something or you don't understand something, it's still a very good place to learn something and get, get curious and be like, okay, let me see how other people might approach this and why they might really like this. Even though I don't, let me see how I can understand another person's perspective. So if you don't believe in the law of attraction, visualization and having a clear mental image of what it is that you want in your mind is so powerful, backed up by science, and it actually makes you accomplish more of the things that you want. So it's a win-win either way. And then thinking good thoughts is going to be so good for you, but also it's going to be so great for the other people around it. And you're going to start seeing life through a different filter because you want it or not, everything in life is neutral. All situations are neutral. Whatever people say to you are neutral. Every single job and you know, whatever responsibilities that come with the job are neutral. It's us who have a filter through which we look at it. So you have a negative person and a positive person. You present to them the same scenario, the same world, the same job, the same responsibilities, and they're going to filter that information into completely different ways. It's going to be like two complete polar opposites. And you might think to yourself, Oh my God, how are they seeing the same thing in two completely different ways? So 
If you think about our thoughts and you just have clear mental images of what it is that you want, uh, you are going to feel happier, you're going to achieve more things, but also you are going to get more clear on what are the things that you want. You're gonna get more clear and specific about your desires, what you want to achieve, what kind of relationship do you want, you know, what kind of friend do you want to be, what kind of parent do you want to be. So yeah, I just want you to have these two takeaways and you know, even though, uh, I take aspects of it from the law of attraction. If you forget about the law of attraction and you just think about better thoughts and visualization and having a clear mental image, it's going to be helpful and very, very useful nevertheless. So thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear from you if you use law of attraction or if you don't. And I would love to hear from you if you've used visualization before, again, whether you use law of attraction or you don't. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. And by the way, Happy holidays. Bye.